Hi everybody, it's Andrea. I wanted to show you a new mini album that I made for a cousin for her birthday. It is the Kathy Orda Mademoiselle collection, the first handbag in her collection. Um, you can find uh, the tutorial on her website at paperphenomenon.blogspot.com. I will put the link below in the comment section. Um, I used a paper collection by DCWV. It is called the Black Current Stack. I'm not sure if this is still available. I've had it for a little while, but it was a beautiful colors, and the colors were so vibrant, and I know my cousin loves purple, so I think that she'll really enjoy this um, collection and this handbag. So without further ado, I'm going to take you through what I have um, created and how I matted Kathy Orta's album. So it's, it's a purse. It has uh, a nice little closure on the top. I've used uh, Velcro as the closure. Couldn't find the, the handles um, per her collection. It's a Kit Club project, so finding the handles or, or finding something that I can use for the handles is rather difficult sometimes. Being in Canada, we don't have as much stuff up here that you guys have in the States. But I use the Velcro closure and it seems to do quite nicely. It stands up independently and it looks pretty good. The album's quite thick. As you can see, it's chock full of some stuff and I haven't even put the pictures in yet. Um, but once the pictures get in there, it's gonna be quite full. This is the back of the album. Uh, so I open it up and it lays down like this. So we start off inside. She's got a couple of pockets here and places for tags. This, this um, here can hold a picture behind and it can also hold something underneath and it will hold quite nicely. It's supposed to look like a purse so I think, it, I think she has, has done a great job in creating, in creating this. The first page here has a tag in here for her to put pictures on and I've made a little booklet type form out of it so it can hold pictures. Um, in here she has a place for other pictures, other tags to hold in this pocket. And when I open up the page, again she has a place for a photograph here, she can do some journaling on this and a tag that, that slides into a hidden pocket um, that is quite nice. A good use of the paper in the sense that you can still have place to stick things behind. On this side again she has some more tags here. She has a pocket in here. She has a pocket in here. And a pocket in there. So lots of places to put some pictures. The back of the page I'm actually going to think I'm going to hold that with a paper clip. The back of the page has this great little, um, it looks like a cascading, cascading place for you to put your credit cards or something like that. But of course, we're going to put pictures in that. But a picture could hold quite nicely in there, and nicely in there, and nicely in there. And I put the paper clips there so they hold quite nicely. In the back of here, she has placed for pictures again. She's got a little L pocket here can slide something in. And there's a magnet up in the top here, so this holds this closed. On the other side, she has a big pocket in this top part. She can put whatever, uh, photographs or just loose photographs in there. It flips down. She has a place in here for pockets, for pictures as well. And it opens up, which I really need to have a paper clip on that. Uh, opens up to a nice big photo mat here. She can put a nice 5 by 7 here and write what's going on in that picture. And then again, these can hold underneath or they can slide right through. This has place here to slide right through to the other side. I haven't counted exactly how many pictures this album will hold, but I am sure it is way over, I want to say at least 100. Like, it holds a lot. Um, she's... Uh, and she's got lots of pictures to go on there. So, this area here has another set of um, places for photo mats. Um, the way this is designed, I've used my scrap paper to utilize the paper <laughs> as much as possible, and I've made specific places for her to put pictures. She's got little tags in here that she can journal on in here, in there. Hi, sorry about that, guys. I kind of got a 
little mishap with my camera. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, so she has this great place for a cascade photo mat uh, section here where these uh, fold down and these have place for pictures up at the top and at the bottom. It probably holds about 14 pictures in here because I think there's seven mats and then it just closes up nicely with a magnet there. This opens up and again she has place for pictures here and this has place for her to put the picture behind there and it will hold the whole picture which is great. Over here she has a photo uh, uh, pocket here and I put a nice <laughs> cute little tag here. I use the envelope punch to make this tag. Thank you very much Kathy for showing us how to do that. I know she got the idea from a lady on YouTube but I can't remember her name. I forgot but you know I will find it out and I will put it down there. Um, this closes again and then you turn the page. Sorry this has to go to hold that closed. Then you turn the page and again she has a big photo mat here. And then she also has a place for pictures or things she can stick in these three pockets here, up top here. That can go quite nicely there, right? Over here she has, again, now the page styles, there's three page styles and they just repeat. So again, this is the one from the very beginning. Um, again, she has photo mats here and here. She has a pocket in there. She has a pocket in here and that actually has this cute little same thing that I had before. Opens up into a nice little booklet style and that can hold in there. When she opens it up, place for photographs, a place for another pocket here, another picture here, another pocket there, another big photo mat here. She can hold two pictures. And again that closes and on the back she has that cascading photo mat on the back, there, and there. Um, she has the L pocket here. There's the magnet that's in the top of this here, and that just holds that closed. Again, this opens down. The big pocket in the top, it opens out. She has the place for the photographs to go through. A big five by seven there. Photo mats here. Place for little pictures here. Again, the cascading seven layer photo, photo mats that have place for several pictures. Opens it up in here. Again, place for photos and for tags and for anything really she wants to put in there. Loose photographs could fit in there. And on the back again, she has that, those three pockets and a big photo mat here. These little tags are cute. They can fit under this. Not very well though. This is this was a cute idea, except these this this particular punch can be a bit of a challenge, and I fear she's probably going to rip it. So I I may not let her know that. But underneath for sure, she could fit something there. And then she has a big pocket in the back, in there, pockets here and here, in there. And that is the album. It is a very cute purse, closes up with a Velcro closure. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy. And don't forget to check out Kathy Orta's website on uh, paperphenomenon.blogspot.com. You can check out my website at diascrapsalot.blogspot.com. I will have pictures of this, of, of this album up there shortly. Take care. Have a great day.